so as I said before, what we are particularly interested in are the member variables for this class. Um, so there are a couple of things that you need to ask and need to think about um, when we're trying to work this through. So let's go back to our original diagram. Each of these will correspond to a stack node object. Okay. And how do I identify each of these separate ones? Um, I can link them and we'll talk about how you would link them and remember what we said here about that. But perhaps the easiest way is just to give it each one an ID, right? And make it an integer and have that as a variable. So each of the each of the stack nodes has its own ID. Then when we display it, we should be able to see which order they're in and help us identify what, what our code is doing. So let's start with that as our first member variable an integer id so go to your stack node class and create a private int id okay so that's going to be used to identify the stack node in question now the really critical question um, will come to in the next um, video